Perhaps two. We'll hold speed at 180. Actually, no, we'll leave him managed for now. Oh, why does he want us down that slow so quick? Alright, 3.6. Because I was late, I'm going to have to catch up now. Too busy pissing about with the speeds. Way above it. Come on, get down. Yeah, we're catching it back up now. Was that tower for four seven Romeo Juliet? One two zero decimal one goodbye. Innsbruck Tower easy four seven Romeo Juliet uh, descending on the Arnav Zulu for zero eight. Currently flight level one hundred. Easy four seven Romeo Juliet Innsbruck Tower sales continue your approach number two wind variable one knot report airport inside. We'll report airport inside. That being said, uh, Innsbruck Tower, I do have uh, a runway in sight. Thank you very much, continue. Okay. So there's the runway there. Easy, Apple, Foxtrot, Alpha, Reader, 134, Adjustment 3, 5, 0, 2, 0. 1, 2, 4, 0, 2, 7, 5, bye bye, Easy, 8, 4, Foxtrot, Alpha. Flaps four. This was definitely the right time to choose to, 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 to load. This looks amazing. Okay, Whiskey India 751, which is the next waypoint. We want to be at 12.4 DME. What an approach, what an approach. Just have a quick look out the window before desperately 
not been able to see anything. Come on, make the turn. Sorry, I'm really quiet. I'm literally concentrating on everything, <laughs> every little thing. Right, so this is going to definitely be an auto brakes medium because it is a short as fuck runway. Ground spoilers armed. Landing gear down. Easy port and Roman Juliet, and give me information. It will be one departure from one minute two six prior to you arrival. One departure prior to our arrival, thank you for some room, Idula. Sorry, uh, just confirm you want me to maintain visual for the moment. Uh, is it possible to continue for A? I'm pretty much set up ready now. Yeah, I haven't got any more charts, so I've just confirmed do I circle to my left or right of the airport? Right, please. Yeah, I'm circling to the right, maintaining visual. Can you just confirm my minimum safe altitude, please? Easy 
2,000 within 5, 4,500 uh, outside, thank you. Well, this has all got horribly wrong. And you can spot them roaming during the traffic information. Uh, the Orion has some of the services currently now departing from runway 26. He should be no effect to report his fate. Yeah, that's all received, thank you. 47 Romeo Juliet. I need to shoot a line for 2-6 uh, secondary uh, there isn't on the 319 I forgot about that uh, yeah that's the traffic behind me I know that's the one that's caused me all this problem right uh, let's think about this radnav program program right okay uh, Easy 47 Romeo Juliet, thank you very much for your cooperation. The Vintage Variable 1 North Runway 26 cleared to land. Runway 26 cleared to land, easy 47 Romeo Okay. It may be one of the best approaches that you've seen on uh, scenery-wise, but I guarantee this landing is not going to be one of the best you've seen for a while. I've got some form of centre line that I can use. Just taking every bit of concentration that I've got. Oh, it's 
So I'm getting my money's worth at the moment, I'll tell you that. 2,500 is my minimum over here. Windy out on it. Right, let's get on these pappy lights. Oh no. Well, God damn. We will take that. DC 47 Romeo Juliet. Willkommen in Innsbruck. To the apron via Alpha. Good night. To the apron via Alpha. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Uh, right. APU. Flaps up. Spoilers disarmed. We were running close on fuel. Where the radar? Off. Uh, two three three. There's currently the incoming EasyJet A319 out of Alpha. We have the aircraft pushing to the post. Ooh. Right. After landing checklist. Lights are as required. Strobes can go off actually. TCAS to standby. Uh, uh, weather's off, APU's up. And available, perfect. Well, <laughs> right, chat. This is literally one of the best approaches I've ever watched. Look at that scenery lighting and weather. Yeah, that's why I chose that time, my friend. And it well, that was a very nice well done. Mate, that was uh, that took everything and I'm pretty sure that that was it was a stable approach actually. Do you know what I was gonna say it was unstable, but we were below the profile um, and we sort of came into it. I killed the power too soon. Um, because I was I was going long, so I dropped the uh, the power probably a bit too soon. 
um, but rescued it with a <laughs> long flare. Ah, oh, no, whoa, I'm on the wrong stand here, nearly rolling into another aircraft. We'll take here then. Yeah, Lufthansa 233 is definitely not on a stand because it's between 4 and 3 because he's parked on a bus. And my poor auto gate man doesn't have a clue what I'm doing here. He's like, what are you doing? That is not a parking spot. But it is now. Hard <sighs> damn. Parking brake on. Engine off. Engine off. Seatbelt lights off, taxi lights off, beacon off, fuel pumps off. And we missed the cabin announcements. And those brakes are definitely going to be hot because I used the absolute jeebus out of those. Um, it was really well done. It was really fun, exciting to watch and understand how stressing that, that approach was. Yeah, yeah. Um, literally, just as I was about to turn on, I was turning. <laughs> I was right there, coming through the valley, about literally lined up, speed, everything, fully prepped to go. And at the last minute, I had to climb up over and get around. Um, what on earth are you doing? Someone's obviously got not standard scenery. Um, and yeah, we had to do full fly rounds. What we actually ended up doing is if I bring in, and do you know what? It was lucky that I looked at those uh, other charts and explained the circle around, because what we ended up doing was the circle to land, but in reverse. So we came down here and we ended up circling around, and I took a bit of a wider path here, 3,700 was a safe altitude. We would never blow that, so we were always fine. Um, and then we U-boated here. There was no glide slope to intercept because I just didn't know how, I couldn't get it set up in the box in time. Obviously being single crew, not having another person to operate the box, it was never going to happen. Uh, and then just flew by eye by using the Pappy lights. We would we were below the profile with those buildings there. We would probably definitely too close for comfort um, but we got one pappy light back and then got the second and because I was then pitching up to get back on profile I ended up coming in quite level so I dropped off too early um, to get down but we stopped with plenty of time we didn't run out of runway uh, and we got down and the lighting was the perfect time to arrive for that I think so all in all that could have been 10 times worse and it wasn't a uh, terrible landing I don't think I think if I press pause yeah this is we get a review so uh, 149 feet per minute flare not quite butter but if I'd have got buttered there with a very good flare that would have just been unbelievable um, so I'm happy with good and a good flare it was long No idea where this aircraft's going. Yeah, I just right, let uh, us complete the flight I there uh, and minimise that one down. One. We'll disconnect and we'll have a quick review before it uh, gets too dark. I'm going to shut the doors. Wait for them to close and then we'll uh, do a quick review. I'm I'm genuinely surprised slash happy with that. But I think the proof will be in looking at this from a different angle. Right, so where so this is the turn. One, one. 
It was relatively not too sharp a turn. We didn't go over 30 degrees. Could have probably gone sharper to intercept that. We definitely got it a bit late. I want to see how close I got to these buildings. We didn't have any jitwiz go off, and I didn't actually turn the jitwiz off, so... Ah, uh, do you know what? We were actually miles okay of those... Probably, maybe even we could have been lower, actually. It's just in the cabin, they look a lot closer. Okay, I feel a bit better about that actually now. That sunlight through those mountain range is absolutely breathtaking. And this is the joy of actually flying on that sim because you, I wouldn't have done that otherwise. I was just gone straight in, and I've I've gained some level of experience by doing something like that. I could have gone horribly wrong, and it probably will have done in the future. Um, but I've I've learned something from that, and definitely goes to show by it helps to read the charts. Can you imagine living in one of these houses? I know this was long because the touchdown zone I think we might have even been outside it but you hear I kill the power there because I knew we were too high oh, just yeah just long but look at that centre line compared to before I'm getting better I've managed to hold the centre line a lot better than I did earlier It was long. Technically, that probably should have been a go around, but I honestly thought I was down by then. Uh, there. So, what's that? I don't know. Hundred yards. Hundred yards long. We would we would have always stopped in time, but technically, I suppose that should have been a go around. Do left wing view, we'll get a view of the airport on the way in as well. Really appreciate your comments, Car Noodle. It's very, very complimentary, I think, all things considered. It is. A <laughs> it's fun, though, isn't it? Nice and relatively smooth from the passenger point of view there. And at the very least, I improved by holding that centre line because that was always the issue that I've had. So I've, I've improved from the, just even from the flight earlier. So that's what I can take away from it. What a view! Yeah, we should have been down before, but... I floated there. That, if I'd have not flared that as much that wouldn't have been as bad we'd have been in the touchdown zone and we'd have held that on the center line just too much of the flare but that's okay over